Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Mark the Clueless Luthier, and today's an exciting day for me. I have 10 coats of true oil on the guitar. All done, looking quite nice. And I've decided that I'm going to put the neck and the bridge on. I'll then probably come back and do some touch-up. Um, I figure th there's a possibility I'll scratch something anyway. Something might happen that requires it. So if I need some more true oil, I'll probably do it on more of a just double-checking basis. But we'll see. So what I've done is I've taken the tape off here and on the bridge. I set, I did a dry run. I set the neck. And I put tape on either side just because in putting this on, it's going to be wobbling probably. It did, it did my dry run. And I don't want to get glue slapped all over too much. So that should protect that. Um, I think that's it. Everything should be set here. So let me adjust the camera angle and uh, we'll, we'll get her done. Okay, I've learned my lesson. I have the towel folded up a little bit to bring the angle up. So, first thing, some glue on it. Okay, not too much. Unfortunately, the hardware store ran out of my flux brushes. So I have to do this by hand, I guess. No big deal. A little bit much, but we will see. Okay. This is the hardest part for me. Getting these bolts on, or nuts on, that's a tight angle. All right. Give me a little more room on this. Tape this on here just to make it easier. It's a call for underneath. And that's a way too high. I'm using my sanding call or sanding block because it has the radius. So I'm going to let this set up, and uh, after that we'll go to the bridge. I um, took up the clamps, I went into tape off so I could get a good check on this, and I gotta tell you, I am like thrilled right now because this is like, it's perfect. I can't believe it <laughs> myself. Um, also, on the sides. It is, it is right on the money. 
I'm baffled. I'm anyway. So <laughs> since things be seem to be going so well for me, um, now I'm going to set up to um, glue on the bridge. So let me get my stuff together. I'm just doing the dry run, and I decided I need to try something here. So I wanted to explain it real quick. This is the call for under the bridge, and I don't. I have no idea how I could possibly hold it in place and get these a clamp on it. So what I've done is I've taken some blue tape, taped it down, sprayed some adhesive on that, and then adhered this to it side up because I can't seem to find my double-sided tape. So I don't know if it can hold it or not, but I wanted to, thought I should at least get this on film. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, high hopes for this. Well, it's holding at the moment. I just don't know how if it'll hold long enough. Okay, I'm gonna continue with my dry run and I'll be back to you. Okay, I'm a little frustrated. Um, I'll explain as I go along. Um, this one clamp that was part of the set that Stumat sold for putting these guitars together is really too long, so I had, I'm being creative. Um, okay, so I've taped this off because hey, it worked well um, down here. And I actually found a flux brush that was in not great repair, but it'll it'll it will serve. So uh, let's do this thing. But tape makes it easier. All right, it's a little bit too much. Bit too much. Okay. Probably still, but we'll deal with it. Um, where is my? Here it is. Just a little bit of salt on the ends. Keep it moving. Ooh, getting all slimed already. All right, so we're... Okay, that feels pretty good. I'm gonna take off the excess as it stands. Minimize it at least. Okay, so it moved a little bit on me. All right. So <clears throat> I put some sandpaper around this and just sanded this to get it to the same almost same radius for a call. That, that one piece that I showed um, earlier is sticking beautifully, that worked great. I had to chisel out, uh, cut and chisel out a little bit here because I didn't want to damage the points on this. So these go here. Now the tricky part. This thing is just way, way too long. So what I'm doing is I have a couple shims because this is going to, otherwise it wants to tilt it. It still probably wants to tilt it, but make sure I got those the right way. Yes. Because as I clamp down, it's going to want to, because I'm not on the foot like it should be. So that just helps the fact that this is angling now. Okay, I'm going to wait right there. Make sure we're still looking good. 
good. Let's get that one on. Okay. These could actually be a touch longer for this. hard yet. I was just barely catching it. It was very frustrating. Um, I don't know if I can make it any better. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Getting squeezed out. This is one that scares me the most. Seems sitting okay. Seems to be sitting okay. God, I hope so. All right, well, um, <laughs> I'm going to leave this set overnight, and tomorrow morning we will uh, see how it went. All right, good morning. <laughs> we are going to just take off the middle brace now, and that's tricky. Hmm. I think, there we go. And then what we're going to do, we're going to leave these on and we're going to drill out the holes. I got a 3 16 inch bit here. And set. And what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to start in reverse to like help avoid tear out. Hold this down while I do it. reason I'm doing this is that with the call underneath it should help um, eliminate tear out on this on the uh, bracing um, whoops Take off this. Uh oh. I can get the glue off, the tape off. That's making me a little nervous. That's sticking a little bit too well. Hmm. Hmm, he says. How could painter's tape stick that? There we go. Whew. A little nerve wracking. So you can see, basically, I drilled into this, and it's nice and clean, so that means there's no, yeah, there's no tear out down here. Let's take the tape off. Well, there she is. Um, it looks good. The bridge didn't slip or anything like that. I am going to go ahead and put on some more true oil really go over it closely and then one of the harder parts is that 
I have to leave, let this like hang for at least a week or two and actually by the time the video this video comes out my wife and I will be on our first international trip since COVID so we're gonna be in Spain and that'll make it easier for me to not touch this and let it dry what happens is you want to finish to harden a while before you start doing any stringing up or any other kind of work on it so um, that's a wrap for this video and I'll see you in a bit um, when I can work on it some more thanks for stopping by and uh, being on me with this journey um, I really do appreciate it bye